Singing higher is easier than you think with tip number two. What do you do when you reach the top of your voice? What do you do when your voice starts straining and cracking and wants to flip into falsetto? Here's another effective and powerful way to eliminate cracking, breaking, and straining as you sing higher. Inside this video, I'll show you how to do it. Hi, I'm Chuck Gilman with Power to Sing. New environment. I'm, I'm actually in my teaching studio where I teach voice lessons in Bountiful, Utah, USA. For many of us, there's a certain place as we sing higher where our vocal cords want to break apart. <laughs> well, singing higher is easier than you think with tip number two. Here's a solution that works very well for many singers. It's called the dopey gee. It sounds like this, gee, gee, gee. The first thing to do is to make that dopey sound and say, duh, like a teenager making fun of a friend. Duh. Not a regular duh, but a dopey or a stupid duh, similar to the cartoon character Scooby-Doo. Duh. As you say duh, feel your Adam's apple, which is the lyrics. What direction does it move when you say a dopey duh? It should, it should move downward. If it's not, then you need to add the dopey sound. Duh. The dopey sound activates some muscles that pull the larynx downward. If you can maintain the dopey sound while you sing through the first bridge of your voice, which is where the break occurs, the larynx will stay where it is when you speak or at your speech level. The goal with the dopey gi is to maintain the larynx at speech level. This will help keep the vocal cords connected as you sing higher from chest into head voice. It also prevents tension and squeeze from the external neck muscles, which occurs with a rising larynx. The dopey sound needs to be maintained on all the notes in the vocal exercise. If you do, it will sound dopey on the lower notes and sound hooty on the higher notes. If you lose the do <laughs> if you lose the dopey sound as you sing higher, the larynx rises, and it's likely you'll feel the added tension and squeeze, and the vocal cords will disconnect. <laughs> vocal cords split apart because I lost that dopey sound. Let me demonstrate not losing the dopey sound now. <clears throat> It'll go hooty on the top. Sorry. Ladies, you could do the same thing starting here. You might feel like you are breaking into falsetto because the head voice is so free and without tension. If you maintain the dopey and hooty sounds which impose the larynx down, it's likely not falsetto. Once you're able to maintain the larynx at speech level without tension and connected vocal cords from chest to head voice and back, discard the dopey sound. For some singers, the hooty feeling is like a yawn. I call it hootie because it's like a hoot owl. Hoo. It has a hollow feeling. Hoo, hoo. If you do this scale and you find yourself at the top feeling tension and strain and no hootie sound, it's likely the larynx has come up. Let me demonstrate what both sounds like. I'll go up the scale without the dopey or hootie sound and then while on the notes, I'll add the hootie sound which will lower the larynx. You 
can hear the difference if you maintain that hooty sound. The larynx is staying down. The dopey gee is a low larynx exercise. This is different from the bratty neigh discussed in tip number one. As a result, it's closer to speech level than the bratty neigh. Both exercises help thin and keep the vocal cords connected. The dopey gee has the added benefit of eliminating some tension of a high larynx, but the bratty neigh seems to help the singer get deeper into the vocal cords. Ideally, we want to be able to do both. Neither should be used to sing songs and, as mentioned, should be discontinued when the goals are met. If your larynx is rising as you sing higher, your vocal type is likely pulled chest high larynx. If the vocal cords disconnect as you sing higher or flip into falsetto, your vocal type is likely flip falsetto. Do you know your vocal type? Do you know what you tend to do when you sing into the first bridge of your voice? Well, visit PowerToSing.com and take the vocal test, which I call the power test. Take the quiz and discover your vocal type. Then visit the Knowledge Center and watch the videos about your vocal type. Download the free exercises for your vocal type. They're designed to give you the exact exercises you need to improve your singing quickly. I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. I'll see you inside the next video.